What inspired you to do comics? Okay, so at first I just wanted to draw something that wouldn't make me sit in the corner and cry. Then eventually I got bored of just drawing random characters and wanted them to actually do something. I started posting on DeviantArt and realized that people really seem to like their relatable stuff. I just kept doing that because it helps fill the dark void of insecurity that is my soul. When scarfing down a party-sized bag of Doritos on the couch and when sitting at 1.30 in the morning binging random music to make you feel somewhat better about yourself and your life, what do you wash the Doritos down with? Well, of course the answer would have to be Sprite. Lemon lime soda was always my favorite growing up. Sounds like you can really relate to my struggles. Hit me up next time you're feeling down and I'd be happy to kick it with you. What is your favorite OC that you ever made? It's kind of hard to say honestly. I like my OCs for different reasons. I would have to say that the characters that I had the most fun developing would be Aspen, Sam, Micah, Greg, Juniper, Rain, Timmy, and Ari. But in all honesty, it kind of feels a little bit off to call my characters original. Not trying to call anybody out, but very few things are original. And you know who is best boy. You know from the deepest, darkest depths of your soul, Philip. Do you enjoy the smell of freshly cut grass on a summer afternoon? I get overheated really easily, so I'm not really sure about the summer part. But the smell certainly brings back memories. A lot of memories associated with cut grass were from elementary school, and to be honest, it wasn't really the greatest time for me. But there were some good memories, though. I would say that the vibe of midsummer evenings bring back the most nostalgia for me anyways. Sometimes I get nostalgia for fictional scenarios that I make up in my head that I never really experienced. What's the inspiration for the art that you create? Do you plan on expanding into different mediums? Are you a one-person operation, or do you have help? Do you think you're going to stay on DeviantArt, or move on to other platforms? It depends on what kind of art you're talking about, but I guess I could give some examples. Carter was inspired by somebody named Carter who was kind of clumsy and awkward, but super lovable. A lot of characters were inspired by other characters that somebody else created. Some were inspired by atmosphere, places, songs, and just general vibes that I liked. By the way, a few characters that I just mentioned right now are from a novel that I wrote back in 2019. Link in the description if you're interested. I'm not sure if I'm going to experiment with different artistic platforms. Maybe. My dad always wanted me to experiment with sculpting, I know. Maybe I'll try that. I do all the work on my own, and I can understand why people are leaving DeviantArt. I think I'm going to stay for now, but if I decide to switch platforms, I'll definitely let you know. How long have you been doing this? In terms of YouTube, I didn't really have a particular theme until this video. I'd say that I enjoyed for the most part, but the thing that I hate, 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 more than anything is line art and voicing longer scripts. I have an issue that makes reading aloud very difficult unless I memorize something. In terms of drawing, I drew anime throughout middle school off and on. I was also super obsessed with the film Rio at the time, and so I would draw scenes and characters from the movie in my sketchbook. I didn't take art seriously until winter break of sophomore year in high school. It was around that time that I also took writing seriously also. I saw a random speed paint on YouTube that I really related with on an extremely personal level. I wanted to draw just like that also, and so I started drawing animal characters and got into digital art. From there, I gave into the dark side and embraced the floofy side of life. Who is the main character that I use for my videos? In terms of his name in short, I don't know. I've played around with a few names, but nothing really seemed to click. If you have any name ideas, drop a comment. In terms of who he is, I'm not really sure also. He's just a generic canine character that I created. A lot of people like to think of him as a fox I know. On the topic of Sonas, it's been a really tricky thing associating myself with a character. I created a character named Ari many years ago, and for the longest time I played around with the idea of him being my Sona. He eventually became his own character, but he still represents a nostalgically intimate time. I'm still known as Ari on Discord, actually. I guess the character that I use now is kinda a Sona. How would you unlearn something that you don't like? I would say getting out and having other experiences that really challenge a negative belief is really the best way to go. Easier said than done, I know. Or you could get a trusted friend to whack you over the head with a cast iron pin and you'll forget all about it. That's pretty effective too, you know. What's your favorite game? I've never really been into gaming, honestly. The only exception, I guess, is when I was a kid and bought a Wii. I played the original Super Mario Bros. in Wii Sports. It was fun while it lasted. What are your thoughts on the film A Clockwork Orange? Not sure how I feel about super graphic violence. Why, are you into that film? And thanks, I like to think that my characters are pretty neat too. How old are you? I know a handful of people think that I'm a lot younger than I actually am. I remember somebody recently asking me where I was in high school. Anyways, though I can technically rent a car without being able to drive, I'm way too old to be this far behind in life. Alright, those were all the questions, and now you know everything that there possibly is to know about me. This probably will be the only Q&A I ever do unless I get more questions. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.